Good morning, this is the Eager Beaver Show. You are listening to a True North Eager Beaver Media Podcast. The True North Eager Beaver podcasts are proudly brought to you by our founding sponsors, the Miss V Mysteries from Corvid Moon Publishing, your source for science fiction, fantasy, and cozy mysteries featuring a broad diversity of characters. CanadianTarot.com, your uniquely Canadian online eclectic tarot community and forum, and the Peppermaster, hot pepper sauces made from fresh farm ingredients to thrill your taste buds and expand your mind. Well, good morning and hello, kids, and welcome to season three and episode 291 of the Daily Beaver Morning Show here on the Cryer Media Network. Yeah! Today, recording day is Tuesday, January 9th, 2024. And I believe it's probably going to be a little bit of a wet day here at the Beaver Lodge, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And again, we're back Aroused, to temperatures. Pardon? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Pardon me? Never mind. I was okay. being cheeky. I was being ah, cheeky. Okay. With uh, temperatures back again above zero for some reason in January. Hi. Very bizarre. But at least, at least, at least there'll be some light snow and rain and stuff. So some moisture, which is very, very much needed. We haven't gotten much. Um, I'm your host, the Eager Beaver, pronouns he, him, hey, Mr. Beaver, hey. And with me, as always, is my good friend, Mr. Grizzly. A big thank you goes to our podcast's founding sponsors, The Pepper Master, the Miss V Mysteries from Corbin Moon Publishing and CanadianTarot.com. We have a special treat for you today because we have a guest with us. And if you have been on Twitter, you have probably seen him. But before oh, yeah. we get to him, let's do the thing that we do every morning, which is the most important thing we do. And that's say hello to you, Mr. Grizzly, and ask you how your mental health is doing today, sir. Well, good morning, Mr. Beaver. My mental health is top-notch right now, and I don't understand it. I mean, really? It's January 9th. You know, it was Elvis's birthday yesterday. We missed Elvis's birthday. Uh, but uh, January 9th, and it's usually like a blah, you know, the weather doesn't cooperate. It's usually freezing cold out, although it's not very cold, and we have almost no snow. So I should be bummed out about that because I'm a skier, and there's nothing to ski on right now, but... Somehow, some way, I don't know what it is. Mentally, I'm, I'm top notch right now. So I'm just going to continue to roll with it until it, you know, eventually that will I'll hit a bump. But let's enjoy it while we can, right? That, don't question, well, you, just roll no, it out. No, that is wonderful to hear. Um, I too am in a good mood and again, should not be the case. It yeah. was an extremely short night. Mm, we're talking too. fewer than three hours oh well i got i got four but you know, yeah still it's, it's uh, uh, so probably after this i'll be going to bed <laughs> yeah i'll be i'll be going to the office <laughs> yeah god uh i have the luxury of uh not having a meeting until uh 10 30 so uh, afterwards so i might uh try to get an extra hour in before we uh, we do things because uh, at some I point i've got to clay curling at five o'clock and i don't want to fall asleep while i'm sweeping well, that's right. David uh, David Bowie's birthday was yesterday, too. It was also the anniversary of his death. Died on the same day he was born. Oh, my. 
Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Linda, for reminding me of that. Uh, so, uh, you know, here's the thing. Uh, despite all these terrible things going on in the world, I feel great. And I, I kind of feel a little bit of the Irish Catholic guilt because there's terrible things happening everywhere, but I actually feel wonderful. So Guilt is know, a useless emotion. Agreed, agreed. <laughs> I said a tiny bit. I, I've learned to dispense with most of it because, quite frankly, it's ridiculous. It's like, look, man, when you're feeling good, feel good and roll with it. Because exactly. it's not going to last forever. Right. right. Now, speaking of people who feel good mm. in a world <laughs> that seems to be going upside down is our guest. You would Love probably recognize him. Oh, me too. You would probably recognize him for, uh, online if you happen to be on TikTok or on Twitter because you'll see his TikTok videos. Um, he is practicing. He's an engaged citizen and mm -hmm. he is doing so. With a lot of, I don't know if you would say it's with humor, but because he's presenting straight facts, yes. but the entire time he laughs and he's got such a great laugh. Well, <laughs> and the thing is, it's like, it's he, what I love about it. Cause is it's so he ridiculous. Has, he, he has the aggression that I have, but yes. he's able to channel it into humor. Whereas mine is just yelling and screaming. <laughs> yeah. And he, he's able to channel it into, into a pleasant exchange, but the, you can see the, 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 the aggro is, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's there. Yeah, right. It's just there. Um, and if you listen to the year end reviews, when we were talking about our netizens of the year, we mm -hmm. mentioned, and I did admit that I maybe have just a tiny little bit of a crush on him. <laughs> <laughs> so, kids and cubs, please put your paws up. And give a big round of applause to at Creek Pete Two. <laughs> hey, morning. <laughs> How you doing, morning, guys? That's okay. Uh, you know, it's it's early, like you guys. Yeah. You know, I'm still uh, uh, wiping the yeah. crust from my eyes, so it's all yeah. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Squint-eyed and confused, as Gordon yeah. would say. Yeah. That's at me. least I got a little bit more sleep than you guys, though. I got a whole <laughs> five more, so. so. Awesome. <laughs> and uh you too like we have lately have had a bit of tech issues yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what else is new what else right right what else is new I, life in the 21st century yeah exactly i am still in the phase I, I thought it would like last a week or two but i'm still being attacked by inanimate objects <laughs> <laughs> still it's been a well, full month now yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's weird um, well, welcome to the Beaver Lounge. Uh, turns out you had told me that we actually know each other because your handle had changed. So we have actually been communicating. I thought that we were a new sort of connection, but yes. we've been communicating for a long time. Well, yeah, it's been a long, it's been a while, right? So back, yeah, I, I mean, I had a, an old tw Twitter handle that, mm -hmm. uh, it was, uh, for Pete's sake, right? And then, uh, that one got the kibosh because, um, I don't know. I had some choice words from for some politicians, and then I got the boot, and then I gave up on on Twitter for a good couple of years. Actually, mm -hmm. just didn't go. I back. did too. I uh, you did know, too. I, I went there. I would just scroll and and you know uh, lurch and and look at the news and stuff like that. But I didn't really participate or anything like that. And then uh, yeah, we were friends back back in the it's, it's got to go back probably five six years at least. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is weird on Twitter because like some people will change their handle names random randomly. Yeah, and then some people, you know, they get booted in the accounts and stuff like that. Yeah, but sometimes they change their names and I'm like, and I'm talking to them. It's like, do I not, like you sound familiar? <laughs> but I don't remember. You're, no, it's me. I changed my name, or you know. But often, like when people get booted, they say, "Okay, this is a new account because I got booted." But you didn't do that. No, like I say, I just, I gave up on it. I was just like, you know what, this is, it was, it was so ridiculous. Uh, I mean, again, it was my own fault. I, I was, mm -hmm. uh, I was fairly rude to somebody and I don't regret it, but I was, and, uh, and then I got the boot and I was just like, ah, forget it. You know, I, uh, let's try something else. And then I, and then I started TikTok a couple of years ago too. So then the, that was it. I, I've my been Twitter relatively dormant on my TikTok lately, but my TikTok, I, I chose to not be political and I tried to keep this as my political outlet. Although yeah. every now and then the, the, the politics would fly in my face during that whole yeah. occupation thing and the blue jacket thing. And, you know, people were just hurling shit at me. So I responded to it. 
yeah. but all the stuff they sent to me, I just laughed about. <laughs> yeah. Was, it's like, sorry, yeah. I'm rubbering your glue. <laughs> yeah. You have to at this point, right? And like, like yeah. you say, like I, I don't know if it's if I'm laughing about it in my in my videos or anything like that. It's more like just pure sarcasm, right? Because mm -hmm. everything's just so stupid right now. It's so stupid. Everything, everything that you, the responses that you get, the the comments mm -hmm. that you get, everything is just so stupid. So like, I use that sarcasm just to like, like you say, avoid the rage. You can see it's just bubbling below the surface. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're now, very good at it, though. The, the, the sarcasm and oh, the chuckles, yes. it's like, I need to learn how to do that so I can ease back on some of my aggression. And somebody says, you know, yeah. you're going to have a heart attack. And I'm like, no, I'm fit as a fiddle, man. That's not a, that's not a problem. And, and my doctor said, no, no, no it's not get that. your aggression and, and, out. And, you know, and in my daily life too, right? Because I'm, a, I'm an excitable kind of guy, right? So people sometimes misconstrue the excitement as aggression, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's just, just, oh, I get excited about stuff, right? And I, and I get louder and I get more sarcastic, but it's not an aggression kind of thing. It's just the way I am, I guess. Right, right, okay. okay. Yeah, we all it's have our internal know. hardwiring. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> hmm, let me put this. Why did you come back? To Twitter? Yeah. I, I, again, I don't, I don't know. I, I really, because <laughs> it's such a, it's such a shithole, right? It really Twitter is. Twitter is such a disaster. I don't know why I came back to Twitter. I, I guess just to get, because you know what? I was, <laughs> because I was using my uh, banned account, right? To kind of just go through the feeds and stuff like that. And then when you're using a banned account to go in, you don't get the full feeds and you only get a certain amount that you mm. can look at. So then I was just like, okay, I'll just start a new account again. And then um, a few of my friends from TikTok, I noticed were, were posting my videos onto, on, onto Twitter. So then that's when I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll just start up another account again. Mm. And what was it that, that uh, motivated you to get involved in the political sphere, if you will, as, as, you know, kind of doing what we're doing. It's just, was it just a matter of, I'm just sick of the bullshit, the lies, the misinformation, the disinformation, the gaslighting that never gets answered because that's why we're doing it. Yeah. It's the exact same, exact same. Like uh, there's just so much bull that goes on and nobody seems to correct it. Right. And you'll, you'll, a lot of my videos that are, you know, on TikTok, I do poke a lot of fun at Canadian media because mm -hmm. it's just, there, I don't know where the fact checking aspect of, of media went. It's, it's gone. just gone. It's just completely gone. And all we have are just opinion piece after opinion piece after opinion piece. And they're all torqued, right? Yes. And especially, you know, uh, I don't know, I don't want to get sued, but you know, like the, the, the PM media outlets, mm -hmm. you know, they're mm -hmm. just, do, do they do any reporting? Do they do any real journalism anymore? I don't know if they do. I haven't, I very rarely see any real journalism from those outlets yeah. and it's like enough is enough, right? Like they, we need to like check the facts. We need to be accountable to, to people that are saying things that have a huge audience like politicians mm -hmm. and just get away with saying whatever they want and no pushback whatsoever. Yeah. Well, and, and, and parliamentary privilege does not extend outside of the house of commons. And right. that's that's the thing, right? And why isn't some of the stuff that's being said? And it's it's not just you know the conservatives, except you no, know, no. they're brutal. <laughs> I mean, they're just absolutely nuts um, when it comes to just bold faced lies, and and nobody seems to correct it, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the the one uh, one of the things now too, and, and especially Cryer Media understands what's going on with with you know the shit posters. And I'm not going to say their name either, but we know who mm -hmm. we're talking about, yep. right? And they could just say whatever they want. And if they're directly part of the party. Yes. And I, I just don't understand why there's no pushback whatsoever. That's the part that's so frustrating. Yep. They just yeah. continue to get away with it every damn day. And I'm every exasperated. Day. All the every damn 15 day. times a day, right? Yeah. It's not even, it's not even just the one every day. It's like, you know, multiple times a day where they just say whatever they want blur it out whatever they want and then the problem is is like you say you know people 
don't necessarily follow politics maybe the way that we do. Mm-hmm. And if that's just, it just snowballs, right? So one person or that that you know shit posting site will say one thing and it can be completely false, but it becomes the truth because there's no correction to it whatsoever, right? right? And that's the problem. Right. Yeah, we were talking about that on another show, the 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 marketing rule of seven. Like I said, you know, if you have to be exposed to a message at least seven times to be, you know, to be convinced of it. And with internet and the way that's working, like this, you can be exposed to that message seven times, like in 30 minutes. Yes. Like that. Like, like that. Easily. Uh, it's amazing and, and how sp- many comments that, like, you know, my, my comment section, I, I guess I'm targeted. <laughs> I got to mm. admit, I have, uh, I have a bit of a, a troll group or a bot group that like love you have like, fans focus right on me. <laughs> and I mean the I, I I I am hoping that most of these people are not real. That's mm-hmm. that's the other thing too, right? I, I right. genuinely hope that a lot of these people that like, PP for PM, PP for PM, right? Just like fifteen thousand comments is the exact same thing, verbatim, right? I mean, it is the same text a hundred different times. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping right. that these are bot farms rather than actual people that just repeat the things that that they're told to. Yeah. Right. So, yep. like, if we have a we have an example of this actually of the group that will you know will not be mentioned. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with regard to uh, the prime minister's recent vacation, mm. which is to the same place he went last yeah. year. So you'd think they'd be kind of okay with it. Like you're sitting there, you're the prime minister. Every time I go on vacation, people go nuts. nuts. So let's go back to the same place I went last <laughs> year because they got it all out of their system last year. Nope. No, but here's the other thing too, right? So like how many, how many articles are about this vacation? I, I, I've seen 20 at least. Easily. Easily. Uh, yeah. Easily. Are you, what is the big deal? Like, okay, you know what? There's some ethical issues, and I get it. You know what? Mm-hmm. Maybe the PM should not take a free villa. Oh, fine, right? But but if you if you watch the uh, progression of this whole story, um, first it started with, oh, he's going on another taxpayer-funded vacation. Oh, all he does is vacation, except, you know, there was articles that debunked that, right? Yes. And then, so he's paying, oh, we're paying for another holiday and blah, blah, blah. He never works, he never works. And now it's all of a sudden, oh, now he got it for free. Now, oh, he's, it's corruption. He's, he's taking a bribe, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I, it, I, it just, it, it doesn't matter what he does, they'll spin it to something. Right. And then there's also the point, if you count the number of days he actually worked, it's actually more days than the average exactly, person right? tries. We get weekends. Yeah. <laughs> well, and the other thing that they f- failed to mention, right? They failed to mention, and I have said this even about Pierre Polyev. When they're in that position, if a crisis emerges and they're on vacation, that vacation ends instantly. 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 They never instantly. talk about that. Sure, he's on vacation, but I guarantee you, he's still working. Well, that's it's part not of really the security a vacation. cost too, right? So he has right. his security there. He has his comms there. He's in contact 24 yep. seven. Right. So even just because he's on a, on a holiday, I mean, the guy's still working, right? Still that's, working. And, and I say the same thing about a daily briefing. Well, I say the same thing about the, the leader of the loyal opposition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, third he's in working. Line. Third in line. Let's be real here. Yes. But speaking of this, and this is where we go. We got this group that we will not mention. Right. Basically. And there we go. Trudeau initially claimed he's paying for this extravagant vacation. Actually, it was the PMO. Right. Mm-hmm. But got caught lying to Canadians again. It's not a lie. Yeah. Just probably a misstatement. This is clearly a bribe. Oh, and Trudeau and his entourage, including his ex-wife, took two government jets on the taxpayer dime to get to Jamaica, blah, 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 blah. Remember that when you electrocute Canadians on climate change? Of course, let's not count how PP got to all the places he got to to do those over 100 town halls. Right. right? Yes. Then what an absolute a-hole. Okay, speaking of a-holes, this is clearly a bribe. Mm-hmm. Right? That is a crime. Yeah. We are alleging a crime. Yeah, that's libel defamation. This is libel. Yeah. And how they just get away with nobody, that? Nobody in the press has run with this. Because they're nobody scared of them. The they are, and the, the press is scared of them. And here's the, here's the other thing, the beauty, if you put this one up. 
one of the people who ran with this is this guy. Oh, yeah. He actually placed a whole bunch of crap like this, but with the whole Epstein list yeah. that came out recently, there was a whole doctored list, and he put it on there and said, oh, yeah, the prime minister's on this. Yeah. And then he writes, X is turning, turning into a communist <laughs> shithole. It's like, okay, dude, if you have a problem with what Elon, if Elon Musk is not going enough right wing for you. Right. Like this, and you feel this. I mean, clearly, he feels he's losing the battle, which for me is, brings joy. Is the communism <laughs> in the room with you right now, Theo? Yeah, I mean, everything's communism to them, right? <laughs> they don't even but know what communism is, though. That's the thing. They don't know what it is. They don't know what communism, socialism, or fascism is. They haven't got a clue. They're, they're just buzzwords, right? They're buzz That's all in, it is. In, And I said this in one of my videos, too, is, is that the one thing that the right does and does well is PR. They mm -hmm. know how to hammer down those slogans, hammer down the buzzwords, and make people repeat them, right? So communism is bad. Everything is communism. It doesn't, you don't, doesn't clue in. You, do you understand what communism actually is? No, no, no. Trudeau's a communist. He's also a socialist. He's also a dictator fascist. <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's hard to be a communist and a socialist at the same yeah, time. Right. I mean, it just makes no sense. It's so stupid. Like I say, and a Marxist. So stupid. Yeah. And a Marxist, yeah. yeah. Yes. You, you oh, can't yes. be all of those things. It's simply not possible. If, right. if you understand the definition of any of them, communism is everything is owned by the state and it doles it out. Socialism yeah. is when the means of production are owned by the factory workers, which right. means that in socialism, there's plenty of room for wealth under socialism, which is what a lot of people fail to realize. There's private, you own everything. The people own everything, not the state. That's socialism. Right. <laughs> and fascism, well, let's just, let's not even go there. But it's the whole Fox News, right? It's the whole skipping yeah. of the Americanized MAGA Fox News coming into Canada, right? And, you know, the, the, the Americans are trained to hate socialism, right? Yes. They, the, oh, Medicaid, no, it's not socialism, right? But... Well, and I, I pointed out to a, a woman years ago, we, we've lost touch, but we used to talk on the Twitter all the time. Uh, she's a member of Mensa, uh, incredibly bright, intelligent woman, has three PhDs, like super yeah. smart. But just because you have that education doesn't necessarily mean you're smart when it comes to a lot of things. Because no. she said, there's no socialism in America. And I said, I'll give you the big, biggest example of socialism there is. She goes, what's that? And I go, the National Football League. She goes, no, that's capitalism, pure and simple. And I go, no, it's not. Mm -hmm. Here's why. They have a revenue sharing. <clears throat> revenue sharing, salary cap. Do you mm -hmm. honestly think the Green Bay Packers in a city of 150,000 people could put together a team that could challenge for a Super Bowl title versus say, oh, I don't know, the New York Giants or the New York Jets, right. where they have all of the money and all of the population? And she just went, holy shit. I go, revenue sharing right across. Well, and then and then think about the stadiums too, right? Like it's the same thing here too, right? Like there, I think New York just to, uh, something like eight hundred million for a new stadium yep. for right? Buffalo, yeah. and, and yeah. you know how's that yeah. not socialism? How is that not socialism for the rich anyway, right? Uh, yes, because yeah, the they, rich seem to really love no, it. They, they cut eight hundred and fifty million dollars from the education Habitus budget in New York State, but put eight hundred million dollars towards a new. Uh, football stadium for a billionaire who owns a team. Right. Right. Yeah, it's amazing how capitalize the profits, to love socialize socialism. the losses. Yeah. 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 Well, by the way, uh, Theo, Theo Fleury ended up uh, deleting that tweet, eh? Oh, did he? Yes, yeah, he, did. he did. Yeah. He the, the one with the manifest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and here's another one. Uh, and I wanted to show it to you because I had some fun with a, with a tweet yesterday. Um, Do goes, you want me to show well, this? Oh, yes, absolutely. Now, this is their profile. Right? Oh, I've now, seen him. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, here are some warning signs. Truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Red flag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Red flag. Warrior for whatever. Yeah. Red flag. The Prince of Peace. If you have to say, if you explicitly have to tell people that you're a Christian yeah. or mm -hmm. a patriot or smart, you're probably or loyal. You're probably not. I've I've said it a couple of times in my videos too. Like the word patriot has absolutely no meaning whatsoever. It's lost no. everything. 
Yeah. And then, of course, the prostitute MSM, because this guy believes that our press in Canada is in the bag for, the, for liberals, of right? Of course. So he puts this thing up, right? Now, of course, this is, you know, crybaby Caillou. <laughs> and he writes, John Gotti. He goes by John Gotti. He's created nothing but endless chaos, hate, and division, not to mention the disastrous economic policies, the doofus broke a great country. Like, now that's being silly and ungrateful. Yeah. He's going to go down in history as being one of the most transformative PMs since Pearson. And like you said, then they go into the nut job, right? right. Mm-hmm. He's also going down as the only PM in history to be charged with ethic violations, not once but three times. Again, so silly. Yeah. First of all, the ethics law in question didn't exist before 2006. So who else would have been? Right. <laughs> Especially since Prime Minister Harper named as a commissioner, one with an astoundingly weak enforcement record when applying the law to his own government, according to even Democracy Watch. And Democracy Watch isn't actually a liberal organization right. either. Right? They've sued Mary Dawson at least five times. <laughs> they have a whole backgrounder on how she was terrible. Yeah. And then, if we're going to compare governments on ethics, well, let's look at the previous government pleaded guilty in court to election cheating in 2006 via overspending. They did that in and out thing that allowed them to spend $1 million more in an election than they were supposed to. And then when they filed the documents to Elections Canada, because when you get over 5% of the vote, you get a certain amount of the money that Mm -hmm. you spent on your campaign back. They tried to keep all of that money first. Right, And then it's just before going into that 2011 election where Harper got that majority that they said, okay, yeah, yeah, we did it. So they fought this. They screamed up and down for five years, up, down, sideways, back and forth. We didn't do anything wrong. Okay, yeah. we're pleading guilty. But this is, In order to keep yeah. four people's asses out of jail. Well, this is the right? whole thing that goes back to the SNC thing too, right? And But this is exactly what it said. This is, it's the pipeline of saying one thing and it just becoming truth and they just repeat it they just keep repeating mm-hmm. the same thing devoid of any kind of context devoid of kind of any kind of real factual information or anything like that but they just repeat it and i get those i get those comments oh my god 30 40 times yeah. a day it's so ridiculous it's a, uh, it's so the, most, divisive, most divisive uh, prime minister in history really i mean really, I, in, really. In, in history in history, okay. in history ever. yes Ever. But, and then it, but, but, but you, you can t- if you ask them right. for anything, right? So this is the best part. This is why I like doing right. what I do, right? Because you, you you go into the comments and you're like, okay, prove it, right? Anything that yeah. they say, right. prove it. They just come back with stupid lines, PP for PM. There's, right. They're always dodging, kind of answering any questions because they can't answer any questions. They just yes. have the talking points that they repeat and that's, that's it. it. Yeah, and engaging with the facts. And this is why I'm, this is why I'm presenting this. So, so pleaded guilty in court. The first government in the entire Commonwealth to be found in contempt of Parliament had a senator go to trial and had a cabinet minister go to jail. Right. The current government has had nothing like that. And then finally, the current leader of the what opposition is, is under a compliance agreement with Elections Canada because mm-hmm. he too cheated. And a compliance agreement is a deferred prosecution agreement. That same thing that you had trouble with SNC. Right. And then, of course, you get the response. Oh, please, get off your knees. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Think about it. So do those fuck-ups now make them a victim? Yeah. Completely gone. And then you say, read again. And then you get you get this. I guess, you know, yeah. I suspect I know where your loyalty comes from. Yeah. Like this, uh, like, fruited with the fly flags. And it's like, yeah. oh, I'm supposed to react now. Yeah. <laughs> goes, and then... From their secondary account for followers. Oh, that's another thing. I want to because, about. yes, and they come back, they pretend that they're a new person. Yes. And then they come back and say, yeah, let's blame the Harper government for all the liberal policies, lies, and deceit. Now, I think you meant to say, yeah, let's compare the Harper government's ethical record to that of liberals. And they said, we normal people actually do follow the news and we actually watch the parliamentary debates. P.S. Normal people don't continue tweeting from the secondary ghost accounts when they lost the argument. On their <laughs> exactly. <name. Like>, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just, and that's the thing too. Like TikTok is horrible for that, right? Oh, right. God. So I'll, I'll, and and now, like, cause like my my account's been 
mass reported so many times it's so ridiculous right and but they'll come in they'll come in with a troll account and they'll have you know 87 followers and they and no videos whatsoever and they'll go back and forth and i'll go back and forth with them a little bit and i'm very careful now because i've gotten so many mm -hmm. um uh, violations just for i mean in an emoji or something stupid like that and yeah. so yeah. I'll, I'll try and play with them for a few minutes right and just be like again just right. prove what you're saying to me just, just share a link of something that you're trying to say that will prove your point. And then they just, again, move the goalpost to something else. And then eventually, like, because I'm done with the trolls, so I'll just block them. Mm. And every right. single time, every single time, within five minutes, another uh, burner account, faceless, mm -hmm. less than 100 followers will come in. Oh, you just block people. And I'm like, you're giving yourself away. You, you understand yeah. that you're showing <laughs> that you have multiple troll accounts, right? Like you, you, That's the thing. That they don't win? understand that, though. <laughs> they don't understand no, it, No, it's just like you guys they are think so they've stupid. Won. Well, they're, they're, they're pigeons that knock over the chess pieces, <laughs> strut around the board, shit everywhere, and act like they've won something. No, that's it, right? And that's, that's it. You, oh, okay, prove what you say. No, you prove what you say. I win. You blocked me. I win. Yeah. Okay. I don't care. Bye. <laughs> Look, if, 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 yes, if that's what you need to get through the day, then that's what it is. I said it. I, Congratulations! I've said it to them many times. I go, go and enjoy. Go to your group of imaginary uh, troll accounts and circle jerk that imaginary victory that you just got on me. Way to go, guys! <laughs> Another thing I do that's really fun is yeah, because when if you block, they know it. Yeah. So, so I like to mute them. Mute. Yeah. Like this, and then. Like I, I, I keep the thing open and I get that little gray box, right? <laughs> and I don't care what they say, yeah. right? It's like, oh, judging by the little gray box that appeared on my screen, it seems that somebody really enjoys talking into a wind tunnel after they've been told that they've been muted. <laughs> and then like this, and then they write again. And then I says, oh, still at it, yeah. eh? Hmm, I yeah. wonder. And then it's like this, and it's like, hmm, I wonder, have they have they used a tarred word yet? Yeah. Like this. And then mm -hmm. the next one says, so I bet you by now they're probably not talking anything about the original point no. now, right? Never. Like this, I guess. Not. And then after about like a couple of them, because some of them leave after one or two, but some of them are really persistent. Yeah. So then I like click on it and I look at them, mm -hmm. right? Like this, and then it turns around and I see like, so it's like, yeah, you didn't mute me. You didn't like, yeah, I <laughs> did actually. So then, like, I, 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 I take a screenshot mm. and I put it in like this, pretending that I haven't seen yeah, it like, yeah. that way, mm -hmm, that way, like mm -hmm. this, and then uh, like this. I right, gee, it's, so it's it's been four times. Let's see how many times more will they continue? I'm starting a pool. I say about five, which probably guarantees about six or seven. <laughs> just to say, like, this, like this. and then when they put the screen caps of all the mute ones like this, and then they stop because they realize how stupid yeah. they look. And it's just, it's like... My, my favorite response is after muting them and letting time. them yell into the void, I just go back after a couple of days and go, you're still here? My God, man, get a life. Right. <laughs> wow, does that shut them up fast. Oh, yeah. because, and then I wait about a couple of hours after they stop, then I block them. Because yeah. then yeah. they don't know they're blocked because... <laughs> it's like ah yes it's, and i know it's it's cruel to toy with people who don't have mm -hmm. the intellect yes i mean it's not even sport anymore no but it I, is fun it is fun. It is fun. <laughs> <laughs> well and, and like you like you say they, they they have no facts to back up any of no. their statements because they're not arguments no they have no facts no. It's like well, the guys that are still PM, complaining PM, PM. about mandates at this point, right? Yes. Like, yeah. shut it's, up. It's been three years. Shut up. Yeah, like, I just don't over. care anymore. And the fact that you're still yeah. crying about it is just so, so pathetic. Just shut up. Well, and here's the thing about the mandates is during the mandates, you so wanted them to be over. Yeah. Now they are over. Maybe even might possibly a little too much considering the numbers aren't right yeah. now. We've all moved on and you are still stuck there, thus proving that the mind is the greatest prison. Yes, exactly. No, or, or this is the only thing they've, they've never had. left 2020. This is the only no, thing no, that they had. And they found a, a group yes. that, you know, are like minded and mm -hmm. that's, it's their whole identity now, right? Like, completely. They can't Completely. Get over it. Yeah. And that's when you, you see those things in the, 
when you say it's their whole identity, you know, you get those videos in the states about like people introducing Trumpers and go like this. It's like, yeah, these liberals make it their whole identity while they're wearing like the Trump T-shirt and Trump hat. <laughs> it was like, really, eh? Exactly. It's like, like hold up a mirror. It's like, have you smelled yourself yes. lately? Yes. Because now, on, on on a more serious topic, though. Mm-hmm. Because you have to be engaged and informed, and we keep on saying this on the show, being informed is a choice. Yep. Is mm-hmm. Why, I guess I was, I was being a troll, it's like, why do you care so much? I mean, why, how can you not care? That, that's, how, can that's, not care? how can you not care? How can we just allow lies to go unchecked? You know, it, it's not good for democracy. It's not good for our country. So... No that that's that's my biggest thing like why don't more people care is is my concern right because mm. if you're just gonna if you're gonna be manipulated by memes like we're, we're screwed you know if we yeah. allow the vast majority of our our citizens that are eligible to vote right it, allow them to just vote based on pure misinformation and lies uh, we're gonna have real problems so well let's just let the ai take over now right, right? so mm, yeah i, I mean, mean that's that's my biggest thing i i i, I just and again it, it, when, when you watch my videos you come i come across as some sort of you know oh i love trudeau he's he's my lord and savior and that's that's what i get all the time too right but it, yeah, that's not the case it's just you guys spread so much absolute bullshit about the guy half of it's made up half of it is Mm -hmm. out of context nonsense right like you know the quotes Mm -hmm. that they repeat that are just completely devoid of context right and they believe it and this is just it's fact to them right you know he's the most divisive prime minister ever he divided this country no 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 like you know like this is this is where we have to like step in and say listen this is reality and you know you just need to step away from the memes and Mm -hmm. face reality a little bit Mm-hmm. Well, and one of the things that troubles me, and I get it all the time, it's like, oh, you liberal cuck, uh, are you on their payroll? Uh, you Every know, day. Like, no, none 15 of that. times none of that a is day. True. I'm, yeah. and, I, and, and for the record, conservatives that are watching this, I'm not paid by the liberal party in any way whatsoever. I'm not affiliated. Nope. I'm not even a party member. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not paid. Anyway, go on. Well, the thing I always respond to is, is uh, well, that's that's cute. It's funny you think that, but I'm not a liberal. I'm not a member of any political party, nor will I ever be. Me neither. I'm an engaged yeah. citizen, and I vote in every election, municipal, provincial, and federal. I always vote because it's important to do so. Right. And I voted for all major parties at one point in time or another. Me too. It depended upon who the member of provincial parliament or federal in my riding happened to be running. If this person was a progressive conservative, although there's none of those left in that party right now, because they're not progressive, they're not conservative, they're reformers. Yeah. Let's face it, that's what they are. Yeah. It's a reform party with a different stamp and label. Less than I'm going to say that forever. <laughs> you know? Uh, did you see, sorry, did you, you see the report yesterday um, about the whole petition about the UN and how it, oh, it was yeah. drafted by some absolute whack job? And, yep, yeah. and she's signing on to that. I mean, what yep. are you guys doing? And then, and noticeably, Pierre Polyev is so silent about it, right? And mm-hmm. the media is not going after Pierre Polyev to find out where he went on vacation or any kind of statement on this. And that's mm-hmm. how they get away with it, right? We're, they push yeah. everything under the rug for the conservatives and they make 15, 20, 30 articles about Trudeau's vacation, right? Like, where's yeah. Doug Ford? Where is the guy? He's been gone for two months. Right? Two months. But that's cool. But Trudeau goes to Jamaica for a week, and it's a fucking topic for six months. Yeah. And and, and you know what? You, like millions of Canadians, are just fed up with this. Absolutely. We're just just done with it. That's why I say 2024 is the year when centrist Canadians, and I say centrist, you can be either right or left, centrist Canadians, which is the vast majority of us are like, all right, enough of this shit. We're not putting up with it anymore. Which is why we're building this community to try and get as many people informed with the truth, with facts. Yes, I have my opinion, but we're always gonna give you facts first. And the important thing is we get the facts to the populace so that they can make informed decisions and stop being gaslit by 
troll bots and media outlets. Right. We know who we're talking about. Yeah. It's just, it's, we're at the end of our rope here as, as population. And I think 2024 is the year of pushback. I really genuinely do believe that because I've seen so many people say, that's it. I can't take it anymore. I agree. I can't take it anymore. And, you know, Mm -hmm. yourself along with Cranky Canuck, along with Dean, along with, uh, well, ourselves, of course, uh, Charles Adler, Laura Laura Babcock, we're we're building a community that's saying, no, we're pushing back against this because this is hateful rhetoric that is harming, harmful to citizens and democracy. Agreed. It's... Look, these people want Gilead. They want the Handmaid's Tale. Right. And if we stay asleep at the wheel, they're going to damn well get it. Yep. And we can't allow that to happen. Speaking of where is Doug Ford, this came up yesterday. Yeah. Amazing how Doug Ford wore the same clothes in front of the same backdrop on both December 29th and January 7th while also Mm -hmm. being in Florida. (laughs) Doug Ford. On December 29th, 2023 was a very busy year for our governments as we continue to build a stronger Ontario. Here's just a few of the many important things we've accomplished this year. I bet I've got two boxes of Tim Beebs that he didn't talk about being a government investigated by the RCMP as one of his accomplishments. And again, this is and another then, thing too, right? Like how many scandals does this guy have? And it is swept under the rug. Yeah. And he, he's allowed to get away with everything. And I, I just don't get it, right? I, I just, that's, that's the part where my rage will start starting to, to yep. come out. And then we got him on January 7th. Happy Orthodox Christmas, Ontario. I wish everybody celebrating a blessed day spent with friends and family. Merry Christmas. Same everything. Look, we, so we get he the recorded them all on one day before he yeah. left. But change your shirt, tie and jacket, Like, Doug. how do you not change your shirt? <laughs> we recorded a whole week of shows for the Christmas week because we went and changed shirts right. between each show. Create the illusion of a different right. day. <laughs> Even though they knew they were pre-recorded. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, we actually said pre-recorded on the right. thing. Like, but we cared enough to change our yes. shirts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like when you care, when you care so little, you do the very right. least. It's like the opposite of Hallmark when you care enough to send the very best. And, and again, if he's if he's if it's cool and he can get away with it and nobody's gonna call him out on it, why not? Well, I, I I tagged him in a in a tweet yesterday. Somebody was accusing the PM of something, and I said, "Okay, that's fine, that's very good." But where where and they were? Oh, I know what it was. It was Melissa Lanceman going after Justin Trudeau for Hamas protester or, or Palestinian protesters? Sorry, in Toronto, yeah. Uh, yeah, threatening people and so on and so forth. Where's Where's Justin Trudeau in all of this? I'm like, Where's Doug Ford in all of this? Yeah. It's his responsibility. It's literally not his oh. job. It's literally it's not, not his the job. Prime Minister's job. Right, it isn't, but they will use him as a scapegoat. So I'm right. like, "Where's Doug Ford in all this?" I bet you he's at his cottage, on the phone, twenty four seven. The phone being his snow machine. Yeah, exactly. That's the name of his snow machine. Right, because it comes down to the same thing with the Emergencies Act. Right, that the, the Trudeau, Trudeau's hand was forced on Absolutely. purpose mm-hmm. to 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 invoke the Emergencies Act. They, well, that was, was the plan the whole time. Make him the the plan was for her, for him to do worse. The plan was, and this is always the plan with these people. The plan is to try to get you to overreact yep. so mm-hmm. that, that they can go there. Huh? See, see. And even though it was a textbook, how you dismantle one of these things mm-hmm. with, it's like there was one horse that somebody got too close yeah. to. So mm-hmm. the horse got up and the only tear gas was from a protester. Yeah. That's right. Right. And, goes, and there's still, he froze my yeah. bank account like this. There was like what, two hundred bank accounts frozen for a couple of days, and most of them like this. And like this, if your bank account is still frozen, most of them were unfrozen, like within forty-eight right. hours. Like mm-hmm. this, if your bank account was still frozen, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps I don't know. You were doing something that you shouldn't have been right. doing that warranted that. Right. But no, maybe. no, it's true. It's like. It was like he just like randomly, randomly, just did, randomly picked you out of a crowd and like had ceases do a search and find out who you are and then froze your uh, bank yeah. account for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. didn't work that way. Because he's an all powerful wizard, right? Like he controls the entire world, really. I mean, well, I'm everything that's wrong with the world you. is Trudeau's fault. So, of course. But, but. You know, he controls the world. He controls inflation globally. He yeah. controls the price of gas and groceries. Yeah. But he's an idiot. 
but also an idiot. Of course, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's what that's one of the fourteen signs of fascism. Right. Oh, he's right? he's too only a drama teacher. Weak. Remember, he was well, only a drama he's teacher. He's only a drama teacher. He's an absolute idiot, but also an all powerful controls the whole world dictator. <laughs> so dumb. And the drama teacher line really pisses me off. He taught it for one semester, one. Well, it, he was, it was a, math it was a maternity leave LTO, oh. right? Yes. That's the other thing too, right? Because, but, but again, it all comes down to that nice hair drama teacher, stupid little three word slogans mm-hmm. that get Socks. people. Socks. Socks. Well, and, and right. you know, the way they go, he's nothing but a drama teacher. Oh, so you mean a, a, a person who actually worked in the real world before he became a politician, unlike Pierre Polyev? Exactly. They hate working people. He's the lightning, the, the electrician that brings lightning from the sky and runs it down a copper wire. He's <laughs> extraordinary, not extraordinary, not extraordinary, but extraordinary. So he's, he's super ordinary is what he's saying. Yeah, one they that hate I, working one, people. Yeah. One of the things that I pointed out in, in, in one of the videos that I made specifically about that was, so he says like, we don't need experts because he's, of course he's, he's mm-hmm. pandering to the anti-vax crowd for that. Right. right? And, but we don't need experts. But then he talks about an electrician. And uh, last I checked, you know, an electrician is an expert in that. Right? Field, yes. Right? I mean, I, it's just common sense, right? You would think that your whole platform and campaign is about common sense and you still lack that common sense. It makes no fucking sense. Yeah, and and you're, I, I, if I'd be sitting there like this, you know, it's like I'm an electrician sitting in the room. Just I thought, wait a minute. What? Yeah. Did he just call me a dumbass? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it takes eight years to become a fully licensed journeyman electrician. Eight years, right? It's right. like he literally There's called schooling. electrician. There's apprenticeships, right? Like these are mm-hmm. not just people that just like, oh, I'm I'm gonna be a an electrician now, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's the thing. It's like, how do you call people dumbasses to their face? Yeah. And if you're in the audience and you're going, yeah, it's like, how are you sitting there going? Mm, give me more of that. <laughs> Like we need to talk about some life choices here. Yeah, or or yeah. just comprehension yeah. skills, right? Just just a little bit. Well, think about too. think about what he's saying, and then play it back in your head and make sure it makes sense to you. It's like I have like like Chris Rock. It's like, do you hear the words that are coming out of your mouth as yeah, they're coming exactly. out of your mouth? <laughs> exactly. Well, and he said this five times. Yeah, five times on record. Yeah, the electrician who takes like. Does he actually believe this? I'm beginning to wonder. I, 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 but I, even if it is the metaphor, what is the metaphor? I don't get it. That's right. not how electricity is made. I guess, I mean, yeah, that, I saw that somebody go, it's a metaphor. <laughs> it's like, yeah. for of what? what? <laughs> for what, though? Of what? It's, it's not, it doesn't make sense, right? And, yep, and no. If you're all about the common sense, what, where are you Maybe. going? Yeah, exactly. Like, so, like, have something sensible to say. My aunt Carol always <laughs> said, "Douglas, if common sense were actually common, everyone would have it." Mm-hmm. Because we got talk about uh, since we're having fun, we're talking about uh, electricians. Um, Sarah Fisher. Oh God. Yeah, I know. I have the same feeling. Misery has exploded in Canada because an overbearing government impoverished our people, stoked fear, and weakened our social fabric. Trudeau's ploy of presenting solutions in exchange for higher taxes and less freedom has lost its veneer. Restore power back to the people. Talk about walking into a ring, chin up, ass out. So Mr. Grizzly responds, stop drinking the bong water. It's making you delusional. By the way, where's Pierre Polyev? We've not seen him in weeks. Is he out in the field somewhere trying to catch lightning? There's Sarah. <laughs> If you want to restore power to the people, try capturing lightning from the sky, running it through a copper wire to illuminate the rooms and light up their world. Apparently, it's extraordinary, you have cooked mm-hmm. fun cake. <laughs> I mean, it's like they set themselves up. Up, yeah. They it literally matter, set themselves right? up. Right, it really doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. They can just get away with because there's there's buzzwords in that in that in that tweet mm-hmm. that the, the freedom. Uh, overbearing, overreach. Those are the buzzwords that you'll get repeated. It doesn't matter, right? Yep. So exactly, and she's she, doing her job. She's yep. doing her job, oh. and she's getting the message across that her target audience is is grabbing. Yep, and you've mm-hmm. mentioned, you've said it right there, and I, Laura Blabcock would be very, very proud of you. Says, what is the content of the tweet? What are the buzzwords? How is it formulated? Who is the audience? 
How is it targeted? Why these particular words at this particular time? Right. I guess right. we look at it and we go, oh, it's stupid. It's like, it's not stupid. This it's is not. carefully no. crafted bullshit. Targeted. There's some science behind the, this. 100%. 100 percent it, it is they it's, hit the words that they have to hit and those mm. are the words that get repeated and then oh, it's it's well it's well orchestrated yeah, and then no they question. get the clicks right she's got 969 little hearts yeah mm. or yeah. something restore power back to the people yeah have like, you tried the breaker <laughs> What are you complaining about? Where what are we not free? Where are we being restricted in any way whatsoever? Right? I just again, those they'll talk about the censorship. Oh, we're all being censored. Where? Where is that happening? It's yes. not happening anywhere. In fact, you guys can say whatever the fuck you want, consequence and free. Get away with it. You can accuse yeah. people of libel on the internet with nothing going on. Right? Nobody knocking on your door and no media no, going, but... um, excuse me, but did you just commit a crime there? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and it's like, and all you have to do is like, look around. Right. It's like, <laughs> there's like 200 countries in the world, Afghanistan, Iran, in Serbia, they just had an election and they're like sitting around going like this, uh, the governing party actually bought votes. Look at the United States just south of us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's like, and you're like, you want us, you want us to believe that Canada is a shithole country, right? Like, Argentina. That, that was a big one, right? Mm. They were all celebrating Argentina just a couple weeks ago, and then within days, dude, like, sent out paramilitary, uh, the the military against protesters. Like, mm. do you yeah. not see? Did you like, not listen to him when he said he was one, a that guy? That guy is an absolute yeah. moron, right? So, yeah. I mean, oh, I yeah. can't... So, <laughs> that that country is going to fall real quick. Oh, yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, like, pushing that back in, in you know, uh, you know, what would what, what, you call uh, little redhead Nazi dude? What, what, what was Cry, baby, Cry baby Caillou. Yeah, him. I can't wait to see his reaction when, you know, two years from now, Argentina is, like, in economic ruin. We'll see what, how he, what he says then. Right. And it's like, it's like, did it's you not believe the Argentinian people? Yeah. Yes. It's like, but did you not believe the guy when he said he was an anarcho capitalist and he believes that there should be like no police, no nothing, and it's the person that can afford to purchase his own security that gets to rule like this? So mm. if he decides, well, you know, I'm a millionaire or a billionaire and I can afford a personal security force, um, your house belongs to me now. Right. What you gonna do about it? Who you gonna call? There's no right. police. There's no justice system. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's all it's scary. And you voted yeah. for that. Yeah. Because you wanted change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got change. Yeah. Which is crazy. Like, uh, yeah, so it's it's you know, we're in an upside down, we're in the alternate we're in Star Trek alternate universe <laughs> with the evil Captain Kirk, right? This is what's happening right now. Yeah. because I, I don't know what else to think these days. It it, it and like I said, 2024 is the year of pushback because people are just fed up with this. Yeah. We've, we've all had it up to here. Like I'm, I'm below the bullshit line. It should be down here where I can still breathe, but now it's above my head and I can't take it anymore. Right. And I am not the only one. There are millions of Canadians that feel the same damn way. And people are pushing back hard. Yeah. Our, our friend, Tim Kutzman. Yep. went on a couple of rants recently we had him on the show we had a we had a great show with him and and this is a guy out in, on vancouver island he's an educator he's like no we're not putting up with this anymore right you know we long for the days of a joe clark progressive conservative when we might have a slight difference of opinion on an economic matter right on policy not not on policy on policy actual policy right actual policy right not, We've not got a party of shit that you guys are just believing because you read memes. We've got a party in opposition that has no platform. None. They have slogans. And no None. intention to present one until the actual election. During yeah. the election is when Middle School has to find too, out that, what the platform is. The this is the other thing that bothers me about that whole thing too, right? Because you'll get the comments in here. Why would he share his platform before the election? 
I don't know. That's their job, right? Their job isn't mm -hmm. power. Their job is to help Canadians. So why yeah. are you okay with your party of choice not willing to help Canadians just because they're not in power? That makes no sense. That's not common None. sense. No. There you go. It's not. So what would, in your ideal world, like this, what would you hope would happen now? And what, do, what do you mean? Well, you have all this bullshit. You know, we're being flooded. We have, yeah. you know, a completely uncurious media. For some reason, journalism's, well, journalists I mean, that, have stopped that's... being curious, which is really weird because that's kind of part of the job. Yeah. Um, so what would you... You know, if there was like a, a policy that could be brought in, into place, like if like you know, Trudeau government, they're calling you a dictator, like this, you know, be one. What would you do? Well, first, I'd get rid of American owned media companies in Canada, right? Oh, I, you're on board with that. Like, get if there's, if there's foreign interests in the media, in Canadian media, I mean, that goes against, you know, Canadian values. We got to get rid of that. I mean, again, I, I just, you know what? I hope there's more people like us, right? Like, I hope more people like us. And we're not the only ones, right? But a lot of people are no. are, are are scared because, you know what? There is a massive pushback. And, and, and the right, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, stereotype, but they are violent, right? Like, like I've gotten death threats for just being mm -hmm. a sarcastic dick. Right, like you know, I'm I'm just sarcastic, and you're gonna send me death threats because you disagree with me so much. I mean, that's that's absurd, right? So yes, it is. If if there's more of us that stand up, right, that you know are, and like I say to you, like like you just said, I, I'm not opposed to, to conservative policy. I'm opposed to the fucking wing nuts that have taken over the conservative party. That, that, yes. there's there's a very there's a distinction there right you know mm -hmm. i i just i can't align myself with people that are aligned with n-words you know like no, sorry yes. not n-words yeah. that's not that's not, the, the the 1930s germans you know yeah, and, right. and they are aligned with them they have similar mm -hmm. uh, beliefs and you know they they close their eyes and pretend oh no no they're not with us but they're they're with you in, in good conscience, I can't align myself with somebody that aligns with them. Yep, See, and I can't align myself with anybody who uses any word that has any any word with a variation of tard. It, it, that's it, it too, right? right? Absolutely, a absolutely. Yep, now, I hear you. I hear you. So, I I'm right with you on uh, the foreign media thing. I mean. We, we've been asking for that. We still don't understand. This is the one thing I don't understand about our prime minister when you're saying, because we, we get called about that, that too, right? We keep on saying that we're in the bag for it too. You know, it's like, an, I, I, I keep on joking, you know, you guys haven't got paid, but I have my, my George Shores check, my first one. I got <laughs> framed on my wall here. I didn't still cash it mine. like this. Still still don't don't have I was so, I, I was so know, happy you know he I noticed me. I felt seen. I also say, I because I because I guess I, I get the your your paid liberal troll or whatever it is, right? I, I say no, no, not only am I a paid liberal troll, but Trudeau brings it to me the check personally every two weeks. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be lovely? We have a coffee, and he brings me the check. Yeah, and says, exactly. Thanks for the efforts. Exactly. We share a donut. Yeah. <laughs> we share a woke donut. <laughs> I was going to ask you something, donut. but I forgot where I was no, going. Sorry, I interrupted. No, 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 no worries. No worries. Um, so, um, if people are tired enough about it, about all of this, what would you suggest, like the average person listening at home? Because what do you? What would you suggest that they can do? I mean, just stand up, make your voice heard, right? I mean, this is the thing. Whether it's on these these platforms or whether it's going on, because you know, Facebook is. I mean, I haven't been on Facebook in years, but that's that's one of the main problems too, right? Like, there's no everyone's scared to call out their drunk uncle, right? That, and, mm -hmm. and that's the problem. Like you're scared. Oh, that my my friend's a wing nut, but I'm not going to say anything. I'm scared to say something. Right? We we got to stop being scared to say something. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Agreed. Mm-hmm. 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 Step up, step out. Y- y- you know, we, we put our necks out there every damn day. Yeah. And I, I've been, I've had people try and threaten me. We're going to get you fired. I'm like, for what? Me too. You can't get me fired when I'm telling the truth. Yep. It, sorry. First off, you don't even know what I do or where I work. Yeah. But, and it's, it's not on any of my socials anywhere. So good luck. Yeah. Number one. Number two, you can't get me fired for telling the truth. Right. I, I, there's no consequences when you tell the truth. Exactly. Like, so, so what is it that you need to be fired? And I, I, I've gotten the same thing too, right? I, you know, yeah. I, I hope your employer sees this and you get fired. What, what is it that I'm saying that's wrong? Correcting lies and presenting factual data is, <laughs> how is that a firing offense? Right. Like, you know, and if you're going to fire me for that, then good riddance. Really? Because, yeah, like fire me. I don't want to work here. Yeah. Well, my boss called me the day after I went viral for yelling at the truckers in my blue jacket in the streets and said, are you okay? Do you need anything? Do you want to come and stay at my chalet in in Tremblant? I was like, what? Yeah. I'm not in trouble. He goes, he goes, I don't know how you didn't start swinging because if I had been there, I would have been hitting people. Right. I said it took it took a lot of it took a lot of restraint self restraint yeah a lot of self restraint because I wanted to but I knew it would create a huge problem for me I would find myself unemployed I was worried that I was going to get unemployed for you know dropping all the f bombs but <laughs> it, what I got was support right from my employer That's saying awesome. no you you didn't lie about anything you you actually gave them a civics lesson yeah yeah so. Oh, that's another thing. Let's 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 bring basic civics back to like you know the please, forefront. Please, you know, please let's learn the different levels of government, their responsibilities, their jurisdictions, right? Because Justin Trudeau isn't building houses. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to start building houses. Not that way. <laughs> exactly right. So so the, the Pierre makes a big fuss about you know the housing, housing, housing. Even though he was housing minister, but housing, housing, mm-hmm. housing, and then. Trudeau's like, well, we've been funding it for years, what, what the provinces are doing. Uh, oh, no, he can't say that. Then they go into the municipalities and start, you know, putting some progress in. No, 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 we can't do that either. I mean, it's just so absurd. It completely. It's, it, it's absurd to the level of a comedy writer would go, I can't present this as a skit on SNL. <laughs> right. It's too stupid. Yeah. Nobody would believe this. Right. Uh, life imitating art, I guess, in this case, because my God. And that's the, that's, the, that's the thing, too, is like the mocking and the sarcasm th- that we have. Now, it's we have an expression in French called a rire jaune. It's more like, because <laughs> it's not like none of this is actually funny. No, 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 it's not. In any it's way, not. shape or form. But I mean, it's like, Given the range of emotions that we have, uh, although I, have I do to... find it funny watching, like making fun of like people that they, you oh know, yeah, you know, yeah. I, you know I, again, I'm a, I'm a bit of an asshole when it comes to that. But when, if you're still, if you're still, uh, you know, complaining about lockdowns and stuff like this at this point, like I am gonna mock you and I am gonna enjoy it. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> well, we have no freedom, so we're going to drive all the way across the country unfettered, right. unstopped, right. to park in the nation's capital for three straight weeks to protest about the freedom we don't have. Yes, exactly. <laughs> way to go, guys. What <laughs> color is the sky in your world? Because my God, man. Yes. I like, I have to say, I like it that you say I'm a bit of an asshole. <laughs> I can't be. I mean, I, we I'd all like, can be, right? I'd like, like to believe that to, I'm not, but maybe it, I am. It, a no, especially when it comes to like just some things that are so obvious. It's like if you're still believing this at this point, mm-hmm. you have a problem, right? So, so whether it's you're you're manipulated or you're just not smart. Either way, enough is enough. We got to get rid of those people with that that are screaming this stupid nonsense. And get people to be able to talk actual policy and mm-hmm. have an informed debate rather than just stupid talking points from memes. Yeah. Cause I, well, do you, do you actually think PP will show up for the debates? Oh. <laughs> Is he going to pay a $50,000 fine? I think he will. I think he will. But he'll, 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 like, 
will he answer anything without oh well it's, it's trudeau's fault you know everything yeah, everything's yeah. going to be trudeau's fault so my it won't be a debate it won't so my yeah. my more of my concern is how trudeau handles it right like i want to see mm-hmm. trudeau take the gloves off and just knock him out that's what i want to yeah. see yeah oh, i yeah. want to see another mulcair moment yes because that was brilliant because mulcair was being such a total dick when he raised the raised the issue of his dad on the 20th anniversary right. of his like I, I i think that was a big that was a turning point where i think mulcair because i think mulcair almost had a kind of a way in there at that point he had the lead at and one he point he killed it he killed himself yeah. there yeah 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 i agree shot himself in the yeah. foot for sure See, i'm sitting there and i'm thinking like yeah i believe kindness is power but after talking to you I might have to take a long look in the mirror and wonder if maybe I too am a bit of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our moments. We all can be, right? It's just whether <laughs> how how we present it is is I, I think the way that like you know if you just want to be angry then that's not the like sarcasm. Use sarcasm; it works because it pisses <laughs> them off. That's a, that's why I think I'm targeted a lot on on TikTok because. I use the sarcasm and I use the the you know the laughing and they get so pissed off about it because yes. I'm laughing. You're not angry, at it, right? And that's why they get so yes. freaking angry because I'm making I'm making light of it in a serious way, or I'm making light of, mm-hmm. of a serious topic that way. Yeah, and it's 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 incredibly effective. Yeah, like incredibly effective because you, people connect with the laughter, but they get the message at the same yeah. time. So, sir, thank you. I salute you. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. Ah, I got, I got to run, Jess. Yes. Uh, yeah, if, you guys, if you guys want to keep rolling, no, I got, can, I got to get going I, as well too. So yeah, I, I got to get to the office. All right. So. Well, thank you so, so, so much for joining. Us. Dude, this was great. <laughs> thank, <laughs> you. Sure thank you. Thank you for having me. Be fun. I'm honored. I actually, I actually needed this to be totally honest. Not that I was <laughs> in a bad mood. Like this, I wasn't. I wasn't. But. It's, the last few days I've been getting so little sleep that I've actually like been downright narcoleptic. <laughs> I've been falling mm. asleep on buses. I actually fell asleep standing up on New Year's Day. Oh my God. I was like <laughs> leaning on the back counter and I was eating something like this. And I fell asleep and you know, as your knees give out like this and I was like falling and we had like a counter in front and counter in back. And I saw the counter in front approaching. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like this. So <laughs> I was sitting there. It's like, a little scary. It's like, you know, a, a, an episode where we just get to, to chat and laugh. Especially, you know, because we've had a couple of pretty heavy episodes. Yeah. Particularly mm-hmm. yesterday, yesterday was and really our heavy. interview with Neely Kaplan Mirth and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, my abs are actually sore. <laughs> <laughs> you got an ab workout. I needed this. Show. Oh, thanks so much, my friend. I can't no, wait. No, thank to, you. Uh, and please, I'm we'll have you thank back you again for soon. Me. Oh, thank and you. please. Oh, God. No, it was great. We want to have you back yeah. again soon. Maybe uh, next week or two or something. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Anytime. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. Take care, my friend. Take care. Have a good one, guys. Bye. You too. Bye bye. I love that. Well, that was a lot of I fun. Love that. God, that, that was, was a lot fun. of fun. Oh my word. Ah, oh, it's great. Yeah, we we had to we had to switch it up a bit. We had to switch. It up. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday was really heavy, so I thought you know it was good we could have a, a much lighter show, but but serious topics, discussing serious topics in a lighter manner because it's been so heavy lately. And you know, like I said, it's the time of the year when it is a heavy time of the year, and yet I'm feeling great right now, and that just energized the hell out of me. I'm gonna have an amazing work day today. I know it. I know it. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> No, seriously, because I know you work hard. Mm. I know you work very hard. And, you know, of course, we talk on the show about like mental health. And I forgot to ask Quake Pete how his mental health was doing today. And I think I forgot to do that yesterday, too, with our guest. I've I've broken our tradition. No, 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 you did. You did. I did yesterday? Okay. Yeah. Um, We we have to get Sujith back at some point in time. And uh, we'll have Quake Pete back again soon. I'm just thinking of all this, like, I'm, I'm... brainstorming right now if you will like <laughs> live on the show yeah it's like yeah uh, yeah uh, and there are certain people that i i wish we could get together at the same time mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know what i mean that would be awesome yeah how things yeah. would it would go oh right um before we do yes so that's the end of our show uh, kids and cubs we hope that you enjoyed listening to this because we really loved it we really enjoyed I, putting this together i, I think you. i my crush may have gotten bigger <laughs> <laughs> 
He's a good dude. He's I a like really a lot, great like a dude. I mean, well, maybe we can get him to join us for a podcast. Oh, sometime. that would be cool. No, but seriously, how could you not enjoy being in the president in the presence of oh, someone? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's got the energy, right? right. The positive energy. Yeah, exactly. Right? Well, you, and you, just, can you want to be around that. You can tell. And, and again, the kind face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. When we say like hate Rotsy, for, like you see all the people that hate, right? All their faces are contorted and whatnot. Like this, he's got such a kind face, right? Mm-hmm. And that's that's how oh, you yeah. know. That's how you know. Absolutely. Like, you well, like wear you say, it. Hate hate ages people. It makes them angry. It it does terrible things to them. Uh, and and in this case, now is look at this dude. Like, could you meet a happier, more joyful person? I don't think so. Right. Exactly. I said, yeah, spread joy, man. Spread joy. We hope that you love listening. So we listen to this. I said that before because we love, I'm, I, you know what? I, I'm fan, fan beavering. So I'm tripping over myself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, sharing is caring. So please spread the word. Tell your peeps and poops all about us. And you have. And uh, I think like our YouTube subscriptions like jumped massively. Mm-hmm. I saw at the beginning of the, the chat that somebody said like we're over 570 now. Or something, five seventy eight. So it, it just jumped because we were like five sixty. Not like well, I put out a bunch of shorts, and the shorts are being released over the next twenty four hours. Uh, I'll put out some more next week. And uh, ad campaign ended. I'll start a new ad campaign next month. That's just not in my budget this month. Uh, I do have something I want to share with you though, very yes. quickly. Uh, so, uh, my friend John Melky over at BlastTheRadio.com, yes. ETR. Uh, uh, offered up, she's like, we're looking for somebody to help promote, promote us and you can help promote yourself. So I did this for him and have a listen. I think you should be able to hear this. Hi, this is Mr. Grizzly from True North Eager Beaver Media. You're listening to Zoe and the Milkman. Ooh. Yeah. So I did a little radio promo for him. So yeah, he's a good buddy. We've known each other for God, 30 years at least, I think. We so, should have him Yeah, on. he just, oh, I'd love to get him on, but he works the schedule we do, but he, oh, yeah. he, he has his own radio station and he works for about five, four or five other ones. So love to get him on. Cause he, he watches when he can, right? He's, he's, when he, when he has the time to, to watch the live stream, he does, but it's, it's difficult for him because, you know, busy guy. Right? Yeah, absolutely. So, but yeah, it'd be great to have John on at some point. Maybe we could work out something with him when we could get him on the pubcast or something. That yeah. would be fun. It's just really interesting. Cause, cause like when we had, um, Laura, oh, we were talking about bullying, her last name. Oh, uh, um, Laura Minella. Laura Minella. It's like, that's a voice I grew up with mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, on the radio. So it, yeah, it'd be silly. I, I like it when we have people I, I grew up with. Same thing with, with uh, Sujith, because I grew up on Fra- Fraggle Rock. So mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I like that. It's like, you know, meeting people that you, and especially back in the day, because now people who do radio live stream, Back in the day, you didn't. Yes. So all you had was like, yeah. I mean, now if there was a picture in a bus shelter and that's all you knew, right? About what the person looked well, like. Or if you saw them at a live event. Yeah. Or if you saw them at a live event or seconds. something, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're going all over the place. Um, so uh, sharing is caring. Share everything. If you'd like to subscribe and not miss an episode, you don't have to, thanks to the Ray Girl. If you scan that QR code under my chin, or if you go to podpage.com slash the true North eager beaver, lowercase letters with the hyphen between each one of those words, you can uh, make sure that you get our episodes when they are fresh off the bandwidth. And we are now up to date on the audio casts. Uh, so if you are listening, well, by the time you get through all the ones that, you, <laughs> that we just uploaded and you hear this episode, thank you so much. <laughs> this time delay thing is a little weird. Um, but yes, we appreciate your patience. Uh, and uh, when I let people know that we were getting up to date, it's like, oh, there you are. It's like, we thought you had disappeared. No, 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 no. We just had tech. Got busy. Yeah, and got, got busy on tech. Yeah. Um, if you would like to subscribe in other ways, make like Kit Elaine and go to our True North Eager Beaver Inc. Media Incorporated YouTube page where you can like, share, and subscribe. Join the 578 who are already there. We are Legion. Yes. <laughs> and if you would like to offer us additional support other than shares and retreats and reviews and stars, that little QR code by Mr. Grizzly's head brings you to our coffee page where the Eager Beaver Lodge Emergency Hydration Fund 
is waiting for you and her tip jar is just there saying, feed me, feed me. So if you'd like to drop a few coins into that, we would be most grateful, as did Kit Tavi G yesterday, who uh, left a little something for us there and said, just a small token. If I were to support you based on the value of the community and information you provide, it would be much more than my meager budget would allow. Thank you again. Tavi G, just so you know, we appreciate absolutely everything. Doesn't matter how small. And I went and looked back. You are not a one-time contributor. You give to us like several times continue. during the year. So when you add them all up, just trust me. Thank you. It's amazing what you do. Please don't feel like it's not enough ever. I just I just posted a link. I just want because our friend Janet was in yesterday and she was talking about her daughter and and how they were they were uh, outcast at Christmas time. Uh, but uh, I, I posted a link uh, to Spotify to her daughter Molly Rolls. Yes, uh, some of Molly's music. It's amazing. Uh, it's I, I would call it dream pop. Oh, I love it. kind of like uh, kind of Billie like, Eilish. Uh, no, well, Billie Eilish ish, Fish? but more like. Uh, um, Oh, what's his name there? The Australian dude. Uh, I can see his face. I can't think of his name right now. Anyway, it's it's fine. The dream, it's dream pop ish, kind of Billie Eilish like, but not quite. Okay, all right. Go give it a listen. It's great stuff. All right, great stuff. It's right there in uh, in uh, the chat there for uh, kids who are watching. So yes, do please. Thanks, please Vim. Check that out. Yes, yes, yes. Vim has been really wonderful to us as well, Kit Vim, um, and uh, Kit Tabby G as well. Um, just so you know. Like, all the little things that you send us, you know, stories that you bring our attention to, all of that helps as well. All of that helps as well. Yes. We can't, we can't get to every single one, but we try and incorporate them where and when we can. And some of them we'll save for future. So don't, don't think you're overpowering us or, or flooding the zone. Please continue to do so because it helps us. We can only curate so much as two people and, you know, we both work full time. So. Yeah. And right now I'm working on three shows. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every little bit helps. Trust me. All right, mm. uh, from the beaver, uh, democracy is something that you do, of course. You know, take a tip from Creek, uh, Creek Pete and uh, get involved, speak up. One of the ways you can do that is by writing to your MPPs, your MLAs, your media, demanding better, your senators, all that good stuff. Go get your shots as well. All right, from the Eager Beaver Lodge, this is your Eager Beaver saying, it could be a tough world out there, so please be kind to and gentle with yourself. Mr. Grizzly, some words of wisdom, please, sir. Keep involved. Uh, be vigilant and let friends and family know that we have uh, a potential perilous end to our democracy if we do not pursue the truth. All right. Roll the credits, please. You are listening to a True North Eager Beaver media podcast. The True North Eager Beaver podcasts are proudly brought to you by our founding sponsors, the Miss V Mysteries from Corvid Moon Publishing, your source for science fiction, fantasy, and cozy mysteries featuring a broad diversity of characters. CanadianTarot.com, your uniquely Canadian online eclectic tarot community and forum, and the Peppermaster, Hot pepper sauces made from fresh farm ingredients to thrill your taste buds and expand your mind. Ah, kids and cubs. I'm going to have a little Easter egg for you. Uh, now, I saw Kit James comment again about my 37 tabs. It's called research. <laughs> <laughs> it's called research. Um, this is a, it's a, something I posted back in November uh, in response to a compliment uh, from Kit Ms. Sedeka, uh because I had tried making those little videos for a while because I had got two out and uh, and I'd like to do more, but it took me a hundred takes to get <laughs> what of them. That's the way it goes. The more you do it, the better you it's get at so it. It's so hard to pack that much in into two minutes because I was really trying to keep them under two minutes. 
because I don't want to buy that blue check. Um, right. But uh, since we're talking about sarcasm, uh, I remember this when Creek Peak said that. And um, if you put it up, Mr. Gasly. It's like, some days I swear I'm the love child of Dorothy Petrillas Bornak and Julia Sugarbaker. <laughs> <laughs> For the gays watching, you know what I mean. <laughs> so yesterday was Elvis's birthday. It was David Bowie's birthday and the anniversary of his death. And this week is the 40th anniversary of the first time the world had ever heard the song Jump by Van Halen. <laughs> 40 years ago this week. I love years. that song. Still rocks. Yeah. All right. I got to right. go. I'll see you.